This is a short video showing the development of the patented safe descent descent vane landing system and why it's the best solution to the problem of a safe personal flying vehicle. Glenn Lieber here. Let's review some background first. In 1953, the U.S. Army tested several flying platforms. A similar concept was tested by the Office of Naval Research. The main virtue of the Hiller concept was its simplicity of design and operation, and it worked surprisingly well. The Army discovered that those designs with the pilot in a central standing position were so easy to fly, the average infantryman could learn the basics in 20 minutes or less. Then return to report on enemy activity. It's quite probable this objective could have been achieved, and certainly many similar ideas were tested. Ultimately, they recommended Apart against the platform the for widespread the civilian use because of the danger the of potential engine failures. Was redistribution of his body weight over various parts of the platform. This caused the vehicle to move in the direction of the greatest load. NASA agreed with the Army's evaluation when they tested it as a possible lunar rover and they were equally impressed by the easy, intuitive weight shift method of control. In the year 2000, I decided to see if a personal flyer could be designed that was both safe and easy to fly, easy enough for the general public. It was immediately obvious that the only sure safeguard against crashes was if the airframe itself provided a slow parachute-style descent. The easy-to-fly helicopters I'd worked on until then were not capable of of such a gliding or auto-rotational descent either. So I tried adding on an array of descent vanes. These flew surprisingly well, besides giving a soft landing. In all, I built over a dozen models of different configurations, including the one that used an actual parachute for the descent vanes. But it was the tandem vane Liftjet 7 that the really impressive performance came through. Keep in mind that with every new model, a battery of tests had to be performed in each of the three distinct flight regimes. Regime 1 was forward flight, which includes gliding. The second set of tests involved the vertical flight regime, or hovering. The third flight regime to be tested were the unpowered vertical descents. Hundreds of these free fall drop tests were conducted to evaluate the shapes and special aerodynamic features of the descent vanes but estimating what size they needed to be was always difficult. Historically, only four or five wings were known that had the desired slow and stable vertical characteristics, so information was sparse. Unlike aircraft having a conventional tail, the Casper wings control system allows it to maneuver without forward airspeed. With a shift of his weight, the Casper wing pilot can transcend the stall realm and enter a controlled mush or vertical descent. In order to dramatize this maneuver, this Casper wing has been fitted with a smoke canister attached to the front of the airframe. As you can clear the column of smoke, the Casper wing can maneuver near Fortunately, the Casper wing, because of its controversial performance no aircraft, did have performance data available and when combined with my own drop test results, I was able to calculate a fairly precise formula for predicting how big a given descent vane array needed to be. That made it possible to go ahead with some confidence in building a large-scale model of the prototype lift jet. All that remained was to find a high launching point, set the cameras running, and cross our fingers. Success.
gentle landings at the predicted speed, and as steady as a rock. Work on the full-size aircraft could now begin. Futurists and technology analysts have long held that the advent of a safe, easy-to-fly personal flyer would herald a worldwide transformation in personal transportation. Most ordinary people agree with that, as do I. It won't start in the city, so, but in the remote, hard-to-get-to places. Prospectors, ranchers, adventurers, these are the people who will first embrace this brave new future. And it's coming. In fact, it's almost here.